In this tutorial, we're going to go over the JavaFX tab pane. And first, we're going to create a tab pane with tabs. Then we are going to populate those tabs by loading FXML files inside of other FXML files. And as an alternate way to do things, we're going to load those same FXML files inside the controller instead. Let's get started. So here's our application that's going to become our tab pane example. Let's go ahead and create our tab pane in the FXML and we're going to create a couple of tabs. Just give them a name here. And we'll go ahead and set the tags to our tab one. Now we'll make a second one just to show you what the two different tabs are going to look like when you switch between. You don't have to worry about any sort of handling of hiding and showing the different tabs. The con tab control in JavaFX actually takes care of this for you. So now all we have to do is put some things in these tabs. And to do that today, we're going, we could just um, actually put data inside of here. So I could go ahead and put a label right here and I could put some text in it and this would work just fine. So here you see is my label and we could do, um, we could flush these tabs out uh, in their entirety right in this main FXML file, but that's really poor practice because what happens is this file is going to become very large and messy and very difficult to follow what's going on. So instead of doing that, what we're going to do today is actually create additional FXML files. And I actually have these uh, already to go over here on the side. So what I have done is I have two um, tab tabs already created. And all they have inside of them is labels. And they each have their own controller. So here's a tab one with its FXML and controller and tab two with its FXML and controller. And so what we want to do now is we want to load these FXML files into our tab control. And to do that, that is actually really simple. We just use the FX include and see he already knows here that there's some files available to load. So we're going to load tab one in tab one, obviously. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for tab two. This time we'll load tab two. And now when we run that, you'll see now that when we switch between these tabs, the label is in the correct uh, tab on both of these. But instead of having the very, um, what could potentially be a lot of code right here, we've now broken this up. We've compartmentalized our GUI and we can now go into greater depth in these individual controls and flush them out how they need to be. So as you can see, this is very easy to load FXML files inside of XML files. It makes your code very clean and much easier to follow uh, what's going on here. Now, alternatively, we could do the same thing in the code behind. You know, you know that I normally like to uh, do as much in the FXML as I possibly can, but I'll show you another technique because it is possible that you would want to load these things dynamically, and so we need to be able to do that as well. Okay, so now we're in the controller. We're going to show you how to load the FXML file here and the controller and then load that um, data into the tab. So the first thing we need to do is we need to have a reference to our tabs. You could create the tab pane in here and do everything in here, but since I already have these tabs created, I'm just going to go ahead and use them and we'll just load the FXML content right into these guys. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is this is going to be a lot more work to, or a lot more code anyway, to do this here on the controller. So we need an FXML loader to load our FXML file. Now, it's important to understand that you can only use this FXML loader one time. Uh, after you use it to load in a file, you need to either destroy them or just create a new one. Um, if you try to load multiple FXML files 
with the same loader if you try to reuse him you're going to run into problems so here we need to loader do our loader dot load and we actually need to um, get our um, file that we want to load so here we're going to get class then we're going to get resource we could do resource get resources stream but we're just going to do get resource right now um, okay so this is where you would put in the name of the fxml file that you want to load here we're going to do tab one first now um, it's important to understand when you load this you need to be loading it into either a generic node or the top level um, control that you have here in your fxml file so that's what we're going to do we're going to load it into an anchor pane and we'll just give it a name here real quick now you'll also see that we need to handle this io exception because if the file isn't found it's going to throw an exception so let's um, handle that real quick as well Okay, so now that we have our anchor pane um, from tab one loaded, we need to actually put it inside of the tab. So in order to do that, we're going to grab tab one and we're going to set its content to the uh, node that we just loaded. Okay, and that's it, if I could spell correctly. Um, now we need to do the same exact thing for tab two. I'm just going to create a new instance of um, our loader and just change all this to be uh, tab 2 okay and now when we run this you'll see that it's the same exact um, result as we had before okay so here we have tab 1 and tab 2 this time instead of being loaded in the fxml file it's being loaded completely through the controller Thank you very much.